I uh, have worked in IT since about the 1990s. So I started life as a programmer. I worked for some commercial companies. I worked for Glasgow University. Uh, we wrote applications that collected data for clinical trials. I had a little, um, shall we say, midlife change, let's call it that, and uh, in which I made a radical change and shifted away from that, chucked in my job, went to America, started to teach skiing and snowboarding, um, did that for a number of years, did a few other things, worked for some charities, worked for various places, and then thought, actually, I really want to run my own business. What can I do? What could do? I can make websites. So that was where uh, Buttered Host started. That was its origin story. And then we, um, my daughter and I started together because then we started in 2019 and then 2020, of course, pandemic came and my daughter works on cruise ships. She had to come home. She worked with me in the business uh, for about a year and a half. And we grew the business from there, making websites. So what can we do for our clients? I guess we're probably the people that you would come to if you wanted a, a website, if you wanted to host a website, maintain it, uh, if you wanted to get it found on the internet for uh, search engine optimization, or if you have something broken that you want fixed, or if you want to add something to an existing website. And I think one of the things that that we that I'm quite passionate about is uh, are small businesses who really don't necessarily. This is not what you do every day. We, you know, not not everybody knows what a website is or how much it should cost or what's the process or anything like that. And I'm really passionate about helping people who don't know that through that process and making it as pain free as possible for them. And uh, to do that you really need to think about you know what what is it that they need to know and understand in order to make the best decisions that they can make so um in in view of that we started doing a little analysis report to help people which if they want to take that then they can take that to any web designer or developer but basically it means that they understand what they need and they understand what it's what I would charge for it and they can compare like for like with anyone and, and I felt that that was really important um, to offer and then of course we love it when people come back and if they want to come back then we take the cost of them for their final bill but most of all we want to work with people for the long term we want to journey with people we want we, we think that your website is a, a really exciting a marketing tool and it's going to take your business places that you never even thought of before once you start playing in this sort of field because people often once they start with this they go oh could I do this with my website could I do that with my website and I go yeah of course you can let's let's see how we can do that and um, that's that's really so we journey together and I see their business grow and as they grow obviously that's good for us it's good for them so that's our story. So they get a personal, a uh, truthful and honest uh, interaction. Uh, I'm not afraid to have difficult conversations with clients. If there is something that they absolutely love, but it's not doing them any good, I will have that conversation and, and tell them so and say, I think your website's not for you. It's for your potential customers. You need to change that. Uh, so they get that open honesty and they also get somebody who's going to be there for the long term. Uh, I work for a number of charities who have a big turnover, but I'm a steady in that. Uh, the other thing that they get from me is that I'm actually a business coach as well, so I will work with them in a kind of coaching capacity to coach them through the process of using their website effectively, as well as building and maintaining it.